What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be using citrus strip to take the paint off the fender. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna go ahead and use a citrus strip to strip all the paint off of the rear fender. Uh, the last video, you guys were able to see, I repaired the damage on the fender. It was cracked, it is no longer cracked. I was able to use uh, the soldering iron and do uh, plastic welding on it. And so far, it's actually doing pretty good. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead Use uh, some of this citrus strip here, and we're gonna take that paint off and get it ready for paint. Here we go. Always wanted to do that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, well, it has been, I gave it more than 30 minutes. I actually gave it pretty close to an hour. Uh, the last time I actually did something like this was on my dad's uh, 1955 Dodge truck that he's in the process of uh, remaking. <clears throat> and I did it on the front clip of his truck. There's a video, I'll probably put it in the tag or the, um, up in the top right corner of the screen, you'll see a little air card. Um, that will be a link to the video when I went up to Ohio to work on it. Now. I let this sit for right close to an hour, a little bit more than an hour, and you can see, fucking dog, you can see everything's bubbled up. It is, it just destroyed all of the paint that was on it. And just with a finger, it should wipe right off. If I can hold it in place. Well, it would normally. Well, I guess it's just a clear coat then. I was kind of expecting a better result, but without a doubt, whatever is on there, I guess it's clear coat, it is, it is gone. I don't have any other putty knives. But without a doubt, it has taken off everything that was on the surface. So, pretty cool. Stuff works really well on just paint removal. I don't know how long I would have to leave it on there, but it takes off majority of it but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and hop off here continue stripping this up and uh try to get this thing down to uh a base color i'm assuming the base color for this plastic is black 
better. Oh, excuse me. I think that's what it is. That's why it is still black. So, I don't know. I'll get it all treated and um, strip everything down and get it ready for paint. folks well as you guys have clearly seen i've uh i sanded everything down and i did the paint uh i did uh the primer then there was it was like two or three coats of primer then i did the guide coat over that i sanded that down flush and it was nice and smooth after that when i finished that i did the black base coat i did like three coats of the black base and then i did um, three coats of the clear but I have a problem uh, the the black base went down just fine however I have what they call a uh, clear coat blush um, the what happened was uh, out here in Houston it's a really humid atmosphere out here and the humidity got to the clear coat and it caused it to cloud up like this this I mean it's smooth it's super smooth um, but you can just you can see the cloud that's what happens when humidity gets into your, your clear coat so the way I'm gonna try to fix this is uh, I'm gonna use uh, probably 600 grit uh, wet sand and I'm gonna work my way down until it's like no longer there and then just call it at that point I should be good to go but uh, <laughs> well there's my problem for right now uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this part of the video uh, about the, you know, this is me finishing up the tail section of the bike, uh, or at least the painting section, painting part. Uh, my next thing I'm going to do is, like I said, the wet sand. I'm going to finish up this, this blush that's on this clear coat and uh, get that looking nice and good. Um, and then whenever all that's done, I'm going to have everything else all reassembled and... I'm going to put the whole back end of the bike back together and then we're moving on to the next thing which should be the carburetors. I got to figure out what's going on with those and I'm pretty sure I know exactly what's wrong with them. That's why I have the uh, uh, the synchronized gauging kit. So uh, the carb sink gauges. That's what I have. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I know it's not like super informative but it's content guys this has been uh this video that you guys watching it's i've been recording this now for like four days straight so it's like chopped up within four days it's all crammed into one so that's that's how i'm doing this video i've been busy at work so i got things to do not to mention just got the truck back again uh ran into a water pump issue on that and then i got an ac problem on that so i just one thing after another it's an 07 guys it's gonna have its problems 
That's all right. Nothing I can't handle. So anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, the content of this video. Uh, if you guys did, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, also, uh, check out uh, my sponsors page, uh, Oxido LED, to improve the look on your vehicle and increase or improve the safety feature of your car whenever it comes to illumination. Check the description down below and use the coupon code SVCRUISER to get 15% off your purchase. Also, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, my video sponsor, my uncle, for donating the GoPro 9 that this video is being recorded on. So, thank you for that. I love you for that. And uh, again, that's going to be it for, uh, for this video. So, until the next one, y'all take it easy. I love you, Dad and Grandma. I'll see you guys later. Bye.